So here with the duplex, we have two entrances. So this is for the front unit, and this is the entrance for the back unit. For this builder, BC's new housing law means he can build more townhomes and multiplexes. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to get uh, more families be able to get into projects like this. It'll give them the opportunity where they can build four units, uh, they can strata them, which means they don't actually have to keep all four units. This place is still under construction. We're probably about four to six weeks away from being finished here. The new rules mean many municipalities must now allow more development on properties zoned for single-family dwellings. Now three to six units are allowed depending on the location. It's part of the province's push to create more affordable homes. Proof is in the pudding, but really what will be the uptake? But this expert says the policy change alone may not be enough to increase supply. It opens up a window of opportunity to develop, to change. I think that one of the biggest things that will determine what will get built and what won't get built will be interest rates. Yeah! Housing is a challenge in many of Metro Vancouver's growing communities. In Richmond, the policy was changed by deadline, but the mayor says he would have preferred more say. I think the people are starting to wake up to the potential problems that's caused by this legislation. Mayors of other Vancouver suburbs voice similar concerns, including Surrey and Coquitlam. While everyone agrees housing is needed fast, he says this one-size approach would stress sewage capacity and parking. Without parking requirements, without consideration of the infrastructure requirements that are going to be needed, I think that it's short-sighted and it misses the mark. He worries that neighborhoods like this one, that's won awards for livability, will change in a way nobody will celebrate. Yvette Bren, CBC News, Vancouver.